what's up guys it's juno here from pillings guitar today i'll be showing you how to play peace of mind by rema as you can tell i was just experimenting with different chord progression just to see which one will be best uh, for you to be able to play along with now i know most of my viewers are sort of beginners and intermediate so i'm gonna be keeping the lesson very simple so i will be just using just two or three chords so that everyone will be happy with the chord progression but also if you want to see what i was playing with the other one i'm just going to show you quickly and then i will dive into the easy one so with the original one that i was playing i start off with my b minor seven chord here and then i have two passing chords so i have the d so basically i'm just playing the just the bass notes and then the e okay and then you go to the a minor seven then you have this the head so basically you place your i'm using my when i play it, i use my ring finger actually so ring finger on the seventh fret of the e and then lift it up and then the other one would be on the fifth fret of the e okay so oops, sorry there so one more time b minor seven they also use this other passing um, um, chord here which is a B um, a B flat before I go to the B okay so um, let's go on to the easier part so right here I'm just using if you want you can start off with the B minor 7 I think the B minor 7 is the closest thing you can you can hear to the original and you can either use the B minor 7 and the A minor Okay, so it just has to feel like this. Okay, so just the just B minor seven, A minor seven. Okay, A minor seven. You just have your first finger on the B string of the first fret, and then you just have your second finger on the D second fret. You strum from the A. B minor seven, right there. I have I'm barring my second fret from the A all the way down. I have my um my middle finger, sorry, <laughs> on the B sec on third fret, and then I have my ring finger on the D um, fourth fret. And you pick from the A. Okay, so right there, yeah, just two. So you see that you can use those two chords. If you want, if you're finding a bar chord a bit difficult because I know for beginners it can be a little bit challenging to play bar chords. So in that situation, you can use the D and the A minor. The D might not be the best option, but at least it sort of work for the song to be honest. Should I sing? Okay. You can tell it there. D. To D A minor. A seven. Sorry, A minor seven. D. To the A minor seven. Okay, so. I think those options really work well for this song so uh, I don't want to spend too much time um, in this song so like I said just have fun just playing around you know with those three chords and see which one you are uncomfortable with and if you find them easy then just obviously use the bar chord okay so um, yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one take care guys bye